Hi, I'm Christina Bell, and I'm on a budget. There is nothing I enjoy more than sitting next to my ventless fireplace in my bedroom and unwinding. The only problem with these is that the cans, the gel fuel cans, cost a fortune. And since I'm on a budget, I have to come up with a way to make it more affordable. Okay, the one thing that I always do is I always keep my empty cans of gel fuel so that I can make my own. This is a really great tip in making your own. I've tried lots of things. I've tried pure alcohol. I've tried to make my own. The one thing that really works the best for me is hand sanitizer. And I'm going to show you how to now, do it. Now, when picking my hand sanitizer, I've tried them all. I find that the hand sanitizers that are more gel-like in consistency work the greatest. They last longer, and I particularly like this one because this is scented. It's scented like lime, and it actually does smell. Um, the other sanitizers that are really good for the crackling fire sound are the sanitizers that come with the little beads in it of uh, moisturizer. Um, they do work. But I'm going to show you a way to make that crackling sound great. Um, what I did is first you have to fill your can with the hand sanitizer. I go, oh boy, I just dropped some. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. First you have to fill your can with the hand sanitizer, um, any one of your choice. Uh, I fill it about, oh, up to here in the can, about three quarters of the way. Um, you fill it up with that. And then to make that crackling sound, I'm just going to have to edit that out. Okay. To make that crackling sound, I've tried everything. I've tried salt. Um, oil in water works very well. It would be for a can this size, a teaspoon of oil, and two teaspoons of water, and mix it up really well. And as soon as that flame hits the water and the oil, it will make that crackling sound. But the one thing that I like the most, and I think works the best, is candle wax. You know, just take an old candle and just take a few pieces. Crush it up and mix it in. I'm going to shake this. That's how I'm going to mix it. And that is all you have to do to make gel fuel oil on a budget. All right, when you're lighting your ventless fireplace with the gel fuel, Always put it down in the fireplace first. Don't try to light it up top. Just because even though you think you're very cautious and you're safe, if you happen to drop it, it will go everywhere and obviously cause a fire. So, now that I've discovered how to make my own gel fuel, I get to enjoy it all the time. And I love it. And Bella loves it too.